Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Uh, so let's talk about Bitcoin. It's been a while since we covered it. I haven't really made much video in the last uh, few days. Uh, there is not much traction to be honest with you. If you look at the, uh, the crypto market, there haven't been any uh, traction, especially in the bigger coins um, like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. It's just been uh, pretty flat. So we had this uh, massive breakdown, and now we have uh, we have been sitting in this lower base uh, for almost a almost a few months now. Uh, you know we have gone down to 3,300, and on the top side we have gone down to almost 4,000, 4,100. So we have been trading in this range for a couple of months, um, but the longer we sit in this range, uh, the breakout out of this range will be uh, is going to be uh, significant so what i mean by that so like you know usually when you are sitting in it uh, you know the range bound market for a long period of time and when the breakout happens it usually um, uh, is a significant breakout uh, just like uh, something that we actually experienced back here in um, the late part of um, 2018 we were sitting in this range uh, the lower range of 6,000 to 7,000 for a couple of months and then we had this massive breakdown uh, so that shows us that you know that was a um, that's that scenario do uh, do like you know pan out um, so when you have a long term um, range bound trading and when the breakout happens break out or break down it tend to be a significant break out or break down um, so we have to uh, we have to see if, if it's going to be break out or break down but it can be either or and to be honest with you right now it's really hard to predict um, whether which direction that we going to be leaning toward uh, toward upside or toward downside and I mean you don't have to really predict on which direction the market is going to go what you have to do is like you know the uh, the most professional trader they don't try to pick the bottom okay uh, when you start picking the bottom there will be cases where you will be wrong you will uh, you will you know you mean like you know for instance a lot of people were calling out bottom right around during the drop around you know 4300 uh, for 4000 people were calling out okay that's the bottom I mean and that really proved everyone wrong and we went went down to 3200 so uh, your uh, job as a trader or if you when we want to start trading professionally uh, you try not to predict bottoms okay um, what you want to do is to uh, be part of a uh, you know the majority of the trend so let's say when the trend is going from you know uh, the, from like the 3,000 to uh, all the way up to 20,000 uh, back in uh, 2017 you know you want to be part of that trend the majority of that trend uh, if you start picking the bottom and holding on to that bottom what will happen is you might gain 10 20 percent but then you will miss out on the majority of the move so same thing goes here try not to predict the bottom let the market decide where it wants to go and then you you jump on that trend all right if the trend is going lower then you know you know that it's not bottom yet you want to wait that out so you want to you you want you want to make the market come to you rather than you chasing after the market i have said that plenty of times but it's very important not to chase the market all right so let the market figure it out whether it's going to break out or break down and then then you know you know put your bets uh, make sure you are using your stop losses make sure you're using your uh, you know using the risk management uh, techniques so that will help you in your trade all right um, we had this uh, this falling wedge action we broke out of it we went all the back all the way up to 4000 uh, 4100 uh, then consolidation so I mean this still a choppy market and the volume tells you the story that okay it's a pretty choppy market and it's not picking up the moment we break out you will see you know the constant uptick in the volume you will see like the bigger money coming into the market and you will see the volume bar going up and up up and up and up so that that will happen you will see that uptick in the volume and that will be the confirmation that okay we might be getting out of this uh, down downtrend um, we do have some resistance that that we need to clear uh, for the for instance there is a down um, trend that is coming all the way from um, 
uh, fr from the 12,000 mark that happened back in like you know uh, 2017 and now we need to clear that um, resistance um, for uh, for that then we have the uh, you know the price level resistance of um, 4200 and then we have the 200 day moving average so there is a lot of resistance that uh, the bulls have to uh, get through if I look at the monthly chart I just switched to monthly chart okay now the monthly chart again is a candlestick each candlestick represent the trading that happened in the whole month so right now we are in the month of March it hasn't you know we are in the mid month so where if you look at the broader picture this is um, uh, this is uh, you you see there is a very limited trading that is going on the very range bound trading that is going on in March so if we break out of this and we get over the 4200 level with some volume and with some conviction uh, we can see we can easily see the market move toward you know the uh, next level of uh, resistance or the target which is 5500 uh, based on uh, what we are seeing on the charts right now so if we break again if we break out of this uh, 4200 then we can easily go toward uh, the 5500 uh, level in our next phase or next target for that we do need some volume in the market and for that we do need some conviction some positive news all right so that's all for right now again let the market come to you don't try to chase the market don't try to predict the bottoms um, we have been sitting in the lower base for a few months it can easily break down and it can easily break out so we have to wait and see but whatever the breakout happen or breakdown happens it will be significant because like you know when you are sitting in the down when you're sitting in the side channel for a longer period it usually have a drastic breakout or breakdown so do keep that in mind all right uh, if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel hit those notification and the bell icon so you can get this content right away and if you think this video are helping you with your trading with your investing then please do give me thumbs up that really keeps me motivated in doing this content review uh, for you guys all right talk to you soon